irrational numbers on a number line. Let us reflect root 10 on the number line. Now, the only way to do this will be to construct a constant irrational number which is root 2, root 3, root 4 and so on. Then, we get root 10 but it can be comparatively time consuming. That is, we first take a segment OA between 0 and 3 on the number line which is 3 units. Now, we draw a perpendicular AB which is 1 unit. Now, we join OB. Take a compass and from point O, draw an arc equal to the length of OB. The arc cuts the number line on D and its length is equal to OD. That is root 10. This method is very easy. Do you agree? Yes. Let's apply the Pythagoras theorem to the triangle OAB. OA is equal to 3 units and AB is equal to 1 unit. So, the square of hypotenuse OB is equal to square of OA plus square of AB. 3 square plus 1 square is equal to 10. OB is equal to root 10 units and OD is also root 10 units. This is a fast and simple method of reflecting irrational numbers on the number line. Here, we are going to reflect root 5 decimal 6 on the number line. How will you do this? Firstly, draw a line, mark it PQ such that PQ is equal to 5.6 units. Now, mark a point S such that QS is 1 unit. Now, mark one more point O as the midpoint of QS so that OP is equal to OS. Placing the compass at point O and taking OP as the radius, draw a semicircle as shown here. Draw a perpendicular line at Q meeting the point R on this semicircle. Now, take Q as the center and draw an arc RT as shown here. This arc cuts at point T and makes length QT. QT is root 5.6 units. Let's prove this construction. PS is equal to PQ plus QS is equal to 5.6 plus 1 is equal to 6.6. PO is equal to half of PS which is 6.6 .6 by 2 is equal to 3.3 units. We know that PO is equal to OR because it is the radius of the semicircle. Thus, OR is equal to 3.3 units. What about OQ? OQ is equal to OS minus QS is equal to 3.3 minus 1 is equal to 2.3 units. Using the Pythagoras theorem, in triangle OQR, QR square is equal to OR square minus OQ square is equal to 3.3 square minus 2.3 square. Finally, when we simplify it, we get root 5.6, which is QR. You remember when making the arc QR is equal to QT. Thus, we have proved the construction.